Gary Ernest. Today I'm going to talk to you about the power of distraction. Sometimes we look at distraction as a bad thing. We look at the way things are distracting us from our path in life. We look at them in a negative perspective. We think that those distractions are there to destroy us. <clears throat> But I'm going to tell you the distractions are there to help you grow. What are some of the distractions, some of the distractions you have in your life right now? That distraction could be your job, could be your family, could be your friends, could be your school, could be the neighbor down the street. But those distractions are like hurdles you have to overcome the hurdles you have to understand in order to learn the power of focus because without the distractions in your life you would not understand yourself distraction is there those distractions are there to make sure you understand yourself Sometimes in our journey to success, you meet all kinds of people. You meet all kinds of distractions. They see you wake up, you need to go to work, you need to put food on your table. But you're sick, you cannot go to work. You get upset because you didn't want to get sick, but you are sick. If you didn't want to get sick, you feel like, oh man. Then you take that day off without going to work. And that's the, one, the time when the brightest idea came to your mind to change your life. See, the sickness was a distraction. It was a distraction that was distracting you in order for you to have the calm mindset to think better about your life. Sometimes you have your child, the child is crying and you're trying to concentrate. You're trying so hard to concentrate on your goal. You forget to listen. You forget to take the time to listen to yourself, to listen to your children. In the midst of the cry come the biggest invention. The biggest invention that you've seen you could use sometimes, it came from that crying baby. Distraction is there for you, not to destroy you. Distraction is there to help you grow. You might say to yourself right now, man, I hate this traffic. I'm on the road. I need to get to work. I'm about to be late. I'm about to be late. I don't want to be late today. And there was an accident along the way. But that accident that stopped you and you took the other route. You veered off the road and you go... You take another exit or turn into another street. Then here we go. The building that you wanted to open your business, the place you wanted to open your first business is standing there looking at you. You see, distractions are not bad. They are simply there to guide you. They are simply there to motivate you to see to open your mind to new ideas, to new realities that you will experience in your life. The moment we fail to experience the distraction, the moment we fail to understand what's going on around us, we lose track of things. 
But distraction is not there for you to lose track. Distraction is simply there to guide you. You might have that one nagging person in your life. That person nags and nags and nags. Whether it's your husband, your boyfriend, your wife. You feel like, man, uh-uh, listen, man. I can't deal with this, man. This is, I, I'm through with you. But you say to yourself that one day they decided to nag you and you take a walk. While you're taking that walk and your mind start working. And you came up with the best idea. That will determine your future. You see. Distraction. They are tools. They are like little muscle builders. They are like the five pound reps that you do, the little curls that you do while you're lifting weights. But you don't realize that you're conditioning your muscles to weightlifting. You're conditioning your muscles to build, to get stronger. But they were little distractions. You know, you might hate all the distractions in your life, but you got to look back. Most epic failures happen because of lack of distraction. You see, out of distraction comes inventions. Sometimes we call distractions obstacles. We call them hurdles. But they are there just simply to distract you. To distract your mind so you could look towards the right thing. The right tools in your life. The right tools that you need. So if you look at that person next to you, you say to yourself, man, I can't stand you, man. You're always distracting me when I'm studying. Find a silver lining in that person's conversation because that person is telling you something. That person is helping you grow somehow. Either you learn to concentrate with all this distraction going on. Because if you don't know how to bypass the distraction, you will give up in your life. <clears throat> Let me clear my throat. You will give up in your life. See, distractions, I'm telling you again, is good. There are little trainings for your muscles, your mind to understand how to grow. But if you don't know how to uh, how to take those distractions in your life, you get upset. Let's say you get you go yeah, you're on a business and a customer is complaining for nothing. I mean absolutely nothing. But they want a place to complain. They complain about the air they breathe. They complain about anything you do. Don't look at that person as the person's a bad person. Maybe that person needs somebody to talk to. Maybe you that one person that they know they can talk to. They run their mouth at you. You're just going to listen because you're not going to do anything to them. While you're standing there listening to that person, pay attention. There's a message in there for you. There's a message. Let's see you walking down the street. Somebody's dog decided to distract you while you're running. And you look up. It was something worse than just that this dog barking at you. The dog's bark was a simple distraction. And when you lift up your head, it was something that would have been worse in your life. You see, when you think about distraction, they're not there to destroy you at all. They all like little strings. They are guiding you towards your true path in this world. <clears throat> towards your true path in this world. Some people, they just get, they get distracted, but they don't realize that inside of that distraction is a lesson. It's a lesson that must be mastered. It's a lesson that must be learned. 
is a lesson you can apply in your life. Next time you get distracted, don't look at it as something bad. Out of the distraction, there's a silver lining. There is something for you to learn. There's something for you to grow. There's something inside of your distraction that's helping you grow. That distraction is not there to destroy you. Because only way for it to destroy you, you have to agree for the distraction to destroy you. You have to agree for it to hurt you. But next time you see that distraction, face it. You'll be able to move on. You see, in order for you to grow, you have to be able to bypass all the distractions in your life. You have to be able to deal with the distraction in your life because every time you face a distraction, if you don't know how to deal with it, you will give up. If you do not know how to deal with distraction in your life, you will give up. See, distraction is a beautiful thing. There's a beauty in it. If you don't find the beauty in it, look for it. But I tell you this, anybody you see that's in your life that's distracting you, they are there to distract you for a good reason, not for a bad reason. You just have to see the good in it. You just have to see the good in that distraction. Because we are, we always see the bad in things. We always see the glass half full, but never realize that it's never either half full or half empty. We see it half full, we see it half empty, we see it half empty, we see it half full. But it all depends on what you want. What are you looking for? What are you looking to what are you looking for? What is it telling you? What is that distraction telling you? Sometimes we don't know how to listen. We don't know how to pay attention to the signs. Distraction is nature's tools to guide you. Next time you get distracted, think about it. Think about where you need to go. Think about your life. Focus on your goal. If you focus on where you need to go, distraction would no longer matter to you. Distraction would not exist. Distraction would be another class in your life. When you think about distraction, when you see it, when you face them, don't worry about them. They're not there to destroy you. They are there to help you grow. Remember, like and subscribe. Thank you.